Hello, YouTubes. Welcome back to James Recommends. I'm close to the point where I can start doing this in my own home, but uh, for the next couple of weeks, I will be super busy, so I'm just going to slam some of these out, and you're going to see me here. Anyway, this week, we are going to talk about Darkest Dungeon. Uh, you all know I have a predilection for roguelikes, and this is an intriguing roguelike. Uh, Darkest Dungeon, I don't usually recommend things in early access, but this is a robust enough game that you can easily get 20, 50 hours of gameplay out of what they have in early access. In some ways, this is early access done right. They're clearly continuously adding more, but this is a very playable game. Uh, what Darkest Dungeon is, it takes a roguelike formula and asks, what would actually happen to explorers, to adventurers, who are going and delving the depths into eldric horrors all the time. And so, it's a roguelike where rather than play one character, you're playing a party, but your party comes from a roster of characters who you have to keep sane, right? And not only sane, uh, these characters have the whole gamut of uh, physical and psychological ailments. You have to keep your guys from becoming arrogant jerks as well. Uh, or these have ne negative effects as they go delve the dungeon. And so as they bear more and more of the trauma of watching their companions die or uh, going through some just uh, psychologically traumatic uh, trap or <laughs> very often having a pig vomit on you, uh, you will, uh, your characters will gain these uh, psychological ailments and you have to return to your town as you build up your town you'll have things like a church or uh, a bar or a brothel to have them spend time in to sort of take away some of that anxiety and so it's got this interesting meta layer because in most roguelikes all you're caring about is that that one delve the dungeon and even in roguelikes like uh, Rogue Legacy where there is persistence across multiple runs because there's an XP system, you're not actually balancing anything from the run with concerns about your later runs. Whereas here, uh, you're, you always have to weigh, okay, not only do I have to keep my characters from dying, but am I risking too much by going further? Am I going to debilitate them in some way that won't make them useful in the future? Uh, and so overall, it's a really clever take. It's an interesting exploration of this idea. Is it fully baked? No. Uh, there are uh, there are times where if you're just doing run after run after run, it gets a little bit tedious. Uh, but overall, if you're looking for a sort of metagame to roguelike that expands across multiple dungeon delves, if you're looking for a party-based roguelike, if you're looking for a roguelike that starts exploring the idea of psychology and gives you a secondary system other than just health to balance, uh, this is a fascinating experience. So this week, James recommends Darkest Dungeon. See you all next week.